boundary, a restriction, being cut off, a barrier, limitations on my space. A boundary prevents me from exploring and going beyond. A boundary can be forms of oppression. This barrier can kill my dreams and not empower me to achieve. When I hear the word boundary, I think of overcoming what seems to be impossible. Boundaries to me speak of limits, borders, partitions, a line marked or a dividing line between. When I think of the word boundary, I think of the desire to rebel and to be outside confined space. To me, a boundary is just another hurdle to get over. Boundaries feel like limits, and I like to be limitless. When I think of boundary, I think of um, protection, I think of safety, I think of comfort, um, I think functional. I think it comes into mind when I think about relationships and interaction. When I hear the word boundaries, I think separation. I think about being limited. Do not dare to pass. When I think of the word boundary, I think of reaching a limit, a point to where you can't move past that, or even a variable or parameter that stops someone or something from getting past the point of where it is at that moment. When I think about boundaries, I think about enclosures. I begin to feel trapped and as though I need to escape. So for me, a boundary is something that keeps me pegged in. So when I think of the word boundary, to me it's like a line that you shouldn't cross. Or everything is cool up until this point. And come any closer, prepare to see the consequences. When I hear the word boundary, I think of limits, division, segregation. It also makes me think of self-control and safety. When I hear the word boundary, I think of things to be set and things to be broken. Set in terms of drawing lines of respect and owning your space and asserting yourself. And boundaries to be broken when things hurt or harm you uh, to create social change. If there's ever any kind of boundary that I have to overcome, may it be a task or something that I'm just simply afraid of confronting, before I would usually just not do anything and hope that it would pass and take that really passive role. But now of course, I've learned that this actually doesn't do me any good and it doesn't bring me any positive results. So for me, the most important thing to do is to be brave and to take that first step and just do. When I hear the word boundary, I think of an imaginary line that shouldn't be crossed. Um, these lines create walls and they kind of, they surround our lives, our thoughts, and our existence. And boundaries carry such a heavy weight because they could create a simple line to cross, a space of comfort, or boxes to trap us. And very often those boundaries which we create to protect ourselves is the only information that others have to create their perception of us. When I think of boundary, I think of personal space. You know, the um, boundaries we set for ourselves and in how people treat us so that they know to respect our privacy, to respect our opinions, and to respect our rights to make our own decisions for our own lives. When I hear the word boundary, I think of an imaginary lane. A lane that tells others what I am comfortable with and what makes me uncomfortable. A lane that tells them how far to go 
what is enough, when to stop. A boundary tells others what's okay with me and what is not. When I think of the word boundary, I think about emotional boundaries. And setting emotional boundaries doesn't mean keeping everybody at arm's length and not letting people get too close and not being vulnerable with people. It means knowing that you matter enough to protect yourself. Boundaries. I had to learn to set personal boundaries to wave off people with a smile who steps into my zone with dirty feet. A great chance for me to investigate into what I want from the world and what I want to offer to the world. When I think of the word boundary, um, it makes me feel safe and it makes me feel warm and protected. And it also makes me feel strong because being a person who's had to struggle with their boundaries being crossed by other people, being able to set boundaries and have them respected is something that really makes me feel like a strong person. So I don't think of it as a bad thing. I think of it as a really important thing to help me be who I am and to help me show other people how they can be themselves. Yeah. So for me, boundary is a good word. And it's a helpful word and it's a kind word. It's an important word. Yeah. Boundary. The word boundary to me means protection. It's the first thing I think of when I think of that word. When I, with my son, I think of, we set up boundaries for him to protect himself from things that he might not be able to handle or might not be able to foresee or understand at his age what he can and can't be able to do because of potential harm or the danger that can come about. When I think of the word boundary, because I am probably because I am a Caribbean national who loves the game of cricket, Cricket is the first thing that comes into my mind when I think of that word boundary. And when I think of boundary, I think that in order you can score by stroking the ball and keeping it within the boundary. But if you want a big score, the ball has to reach the boundary. And if you want a maximum score, you have to clear the boundary. So I've tried to live my life so that in order to maximize my living, in order to get the most out of whatever I am doing, I try to at least reach the boundary. And more often than not, I try to clear the boundary, break the barrier, because that's where the maximum score, that's where the maximum score is. Oftentimes, what we define as boundaries are simply hurdles to be overcome or greater heights to be reached. Boundaries are manufactured in the mind and then molded into reality. When I think of boundary, I think of resistance. I think of um, pain. I also think of some sort of clarity, some sort of... Uh, guard, some sort of shield, an opportunity to renew, an opportunity to restore. But then I think a boundary and I think it's all pretty false. I think it's uh, some sort of makeshift idea to separate, to classify, to isolate. And all of these have a number of different reasons why they might be useful, why they might be harmful, and why they might be chosen for any given reason. The mere mention of a boundary, perhaps because of my line of work and general curiosities, makes me feel immediately um, equal parts rebellious and entrepreneurial. How can this boundary be overcome? 
the word boundary means respect. It means respect for your community, for your spouse, for your siblings, for your parents, for your elders, for individuals with different religions, individuals with different mindsets, respect for people who have different visions. When I hear the word boundary, I think about who controls the space around the boundary, who are the gatekeepers, who are the ones with the power. All these things are important that we seek to think about or even um, try to theorize the idea of a boundary. Because boundaries are never formed in isolation. They are actively enforced, produced, and knowledge is about the boundary are set in place by those with power. The word boundary to me is, I think, a very potent word in the midst of society where we all constantly feel like we have these uh, walls put up around us of what we need to be or what we should be in order to fit into society or to be defined as successful and all other words that make us feel as though we need to be one with all those around us. But at the same time, I think a lot of the things that we put on ourselves are self-afflicted, which we can absolutely relinquish control over. Boundaries are funny because as much as they protect, they can sometimes block. So we have to realize where we have to find and stretch our boundaries and keep on stretching them until we reach our dreams and our goals and our purposes. The boundary, on one side it divides, compartment, fragment, fraction and split. On the other side, it brings together, unify, blend and merge. Natural or breathed from blood and weapon, it imprints on me a culture, a history. But sometimes, boundary can be blurred and crumbly. That's what I like in a boundary. Its arrogance is often temporary, and one day, it breaks. <laughs>